feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. Our first time, our first day. You're so fine. I'm so late. You sip wine. I drink straight. Hey guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another food vlog. Today we are at Blue Coral Vietnamese Cuisine in Fountain Valley, California and we're going to be trying some Vietnamese food. They specialize in hot stone pho and seafood boil so we're going to be getting both of those. Come on! This is the menu right here. We are going to be getting the hot stone pho, also the Vietnamese steak and egg. Then they also have some appetizers. You can also get some pho beef noodle soup. There's rice and noodle here. I'm going to be getting the saltado shake and fries. It's filet mignon with fried potatoes. And then on the back, they have some seafood hot pot. So this is like Vietnamese seafood boil. I'm going to be getting a small snow crab Cajun seafood platter. So it comes with crawfish, shrimp, mussels, snow crab, and clams. I'm actually going to substitute the clams for more shrimp though because I like clams but I like shrimp more. This is part of the hot stone pho. So they give you some raw meat that you will dip with the hot stone pho broth. And then there's some meatballs, assortments of different types of meat, tripe, some, I think this is very gelatinous. And then they have the pho noodles here. These are the thick version. You can also get thin. We have some bean sprouts. Wow, well, look at the hot stone pho. It is very, very hot. The water and the broth is just boiling. You can smell all of those fresh ingredients. It's so aromatic. Okay, let's try the hot stone pho first. There's an assortment of meat here and we are just going to grab some and then dip it inside the broth. so good. The broth is so flavorful and so fragrant. Wow. Let's try some of the noodles. Now I've never had pho like this. I believe you're supposed to just kind of dip. <laughs> Do you just dip the noodles in there? That's how I'm going to eat them. Oh, that's really good. I'm going to need to, this is a very big spoon. I want to just try the broth by itself. Oh, that is just so delicious. It completely warms up my entire soul. Let's cook another one. There's also an assortment of meats here as well. I'm just going to quickly dump that in along with a meatball. sprouts <laughs> 
If your broth gets cold here, you can actually ask them to reheat the broth, which I did, and it's nice and steamy again. Mm. I really love the broth here. It is so flavorful, but also very clean tasting. Such good broth and I love the noodles too. It's really good noodle quality. And I like the thickness of this pho. This is the steak and egg on the sizzling plate. There's a nice sunny side up egg. Ooh, I think that's some jar right here. This is jar. Some cherry tomatoes, some pate. Give you some uh, lettuce and tomatoes, onions, and a baguette to eat with the steak and egg. Let's pop this yolk. Wow, look at that. This is going to be delicious when we dip it in the bread. There's a bunch of sauce that's just drenched. So this is traditionally a Vietnamese breakfast and you'll eat it with a baguette. You dip the baguette in all of the sauce along with the egg yolk, just like that. Put the steak on top. Add a little bit of the pate right here and voila. That is a flavor explosion. The sauce is so flavorful and it tastes really good when you just drench it in the baguette. Wow, that's very, very good. This right here is jia. It's a Vietnamese pork sausage. Growing up, I ate a lot of jia. Usually just would eat it with rice and soy sauce. That alone is really good too. This is the Lomo Saltado, so it is filet mignon, and there's also french fries, all stir fried together. Some rice, and then this green chili sauce. This is my favorite, it's very delicious. The filet mignon is really good. And I love the crunchiness of the fries and this green sauce. It's not too spicy too. Let's try some of the tomatoes now. Sweet, plump, juicy, I love tomatoes. Let's try some of this rice. The rice is really good, oh my gosh. It's so light, airy, and fluffy. I really wasn't expecting that. Mm. This rice, this rice really completes the dish. This is the small seafood platter. They say small, but this is actually really big. I can't even imagine how large the large one would be. We have some snow crab on top, and then we have shrimp, mussels, crawfish, some corn here, potatoes. There's so much variety. And then it is on this hot stove pot. So it is continuously just bubbling, and wow, it just smells so fresh and so fragrant. Look how big this is. like. This is very big just for a size small. It is, how many hands of this? How many hands do we need to put? One, two, three, four, four hands wide. Four hands on this side. <laughs> All right, let's begin. The 
This is a pretty juicy snow crab. I can tell that there's a good amount of meat on this. Usually the ones you get at the buffet, they're a little bit more skimpier. Mmm, the sauce is really good. It's a sweet, it's like a sweeter Cajun sauce. So it's sweet, tangy, spicy, lots of flavors. It's so good. <laughs> I'm salivating as I'm eating this. Oh yeah. The snow crab is super sweet here. Mm. Eat the crab claw now. Mm. So good and so sweet. Let's get a piece of the muscle now. Look at that, there's so much sauce on there. Lots of big garlic chunks. And the muscles are a very good size too. So good. So meaty. I really love this sauce. It's it's quite different from the other seafood boil sauces I've tried. Like if you compare it to boiling crab, it's very different. I love the sweet and the tanginess in here and a bunch of garlic. These shrimps look pretty good too. It's a good size. They're not puny. Boys have to make sure to suck the shrimp head. The shrimp is very sweet and fresh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a really big crawfish. Look how gigantic that is. I mean, we have some small ones here, but this is a big boy. Look at this. <laughs> this is so big. Okay, let, let's look at the legs. <laughs> All right, let, let's, let's eat this one. It's, it's actually making me a little bit nervous. Look at all of that goodness inside of the crawfish. Such a large crawfish, but this is really all we get from it. Boom. Mm. Mm. That one's good. Potato's so cute. For dessert, we have some fried donuts. It's literally like a fried donut. <laughs> Lots of thick bread inside. It's crunchy on the exterior, just very slightly sweetened. I actually want to try this fried donut inside of the sauce. I think it'll be really good. Mm. That is how you have to eat it. That is delicious because the bread literally absorbs all this delicious seafood Cajun seasoning. Wow. 
Okay guys, that is it for today's food vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this food vlog featuring Vietnamese food at Blue Coral Vietnamese Cuisine. Again, they are located in Fountain Valley, California and they have some amazing Vietnamese food. My absolute favorites today and recommendations, definitely get the hot stone pho. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Their broth, they're super flavorful, so clean. Just, I really love it. So savory and soothing. And I love how you can just dip the raw meat inside the hot stone and just cook the meat inside the broth. It's very, very delicious. I also really love their seafood boil and you get so much seafood in the platter. The snow crab was my absolute favorite. And another recommendation is the steak and eggs. Oh my gosh, that was so good. The sauce is super flavorful and I just loved eating it with the bread and the meat and the egg and the pate. I'll leave their information down below in my description and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you guys. Bye!